What a jam. What a jam. A round of applause for this one. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. What a jam. What a Lo- jam. Yeah, a lovely morning jam. I it's, have to be honest. It's yeah. stunning. It's yeah. absolutely stunning. It's Phyllis not, Hyman. Yeah. It's yeah. not harsh. Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's Mm-mm. lovely. You know how to love me. Mm. You know how to love us by waking up early in the morning. So thank you. You're welcome. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. No, actually, now I appreciate you loving me for inviting me. Hey, we hey. know how to love you. Hey, <laughs> yes. hey, hey. Decoding Rabulana, the voice note line is 063-688-0959. And if you want to drop a call, 86 What are your family siblings like? What's your family like? Your siblings, your parents growing up? Were they strict? Do you come from a strict background? Yeah, I yes, I, actually I do. I do come from a. Oh no, Shabua, know, uh, as a kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, now I, you know I was considered at home. I was considered to be naughty. Oh really? Yeah, nigga stoked. Nigga stoked. Maro abona halawaje. Nelly baba luhore, you know, nigga na lo zala bozui piwa bon. Omo tu mo spaza wo mo oyena, oyena, stouter. So my father, I mean, yeah, my my father would, yeah, no, give me a couple of lashes yeah. for that, you know. And uh, but I grew up in a Christian family, oh, you know, good. Lutheran. Yeah, oh. yeah, Luther, we we used to go to church every day. I mean, there was a time in my life, yeah, mm. Mm. There was a time in my life whereby I went to church like, you know, like, boom, three, four times a week. You yeah. know, Whoa. because yeah, I was in the choir, so mm. I would go and you, you know for choir practice. In the I was in the youth league, mm. so I would go for the youth league. Yeah, I was very active then. Mm. Obviously, on Sunday, then you know, go to church. What and, did that do for you? Hmm? Being active in the no, church it did it instill up, something you know, in you? Yes, it did. I mean, uh, I I remember when there was uh, you know I, there was a time when you you know I felt like uh, I'm idling. Mm. You know, uh, it's it's going to school and, you know, it's going to school and coming back and nothing really happening in my life. And yeah. I felt like, no, I'm idling. And I uh, you know, I approached a friend of mine and I said to him, why can't we, ch- you know, start a, a youth league in church? I want Karno Artali Youth League. And mm. then we started. And I'm telling you, you will go anywhere from Joburg to Pretoria. They knew me. Mm. They knew Rapulana C. No, Rapulana C. P. More Lutheran Lutheran churches yeah. know me, because wow. uh, you know I made it a point that you know we when we arrived, yeah, you know, ever, and we used to sing. We used yeah. to you know go for revivals. We used to, wow. and I used to pass, participate in church. Like you know, proper, I was, proper, 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 active. Yeah, you know, recruiting young people. You know, to come and join the church, but not only for, for for services, and, but to do things. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, through the youth league. And that's dope. So, yeah. would you say, if it wasn't for acting, would you have uh, pursued that in the future, like but, being a church uh, you know leader, what? Christian yeah, leader? I would have been that or a lawyer. You know, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow! Even a lawyer? If, yeah, even a lawyer. If I, you know, but no, no, uh, no, 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 when we started uh, the youth league, yeah. uh, for me it was not just about attendance, you know, or coming to church and just having fun and or singing, but yeah. it was also about young people participating in all these little, you know, subcommittees, yeah, in the, you know, and uh, being active, keeping know, young people yeah. off the streets and out of trouble. Exactly, absolutely yeah. love that. Absolutely love that. So why uh, the acting instead of the law? Because it sounds like then you had a passion for you know the law and being a lawyer. Mm. Growing mm. up, uh, I used to go to you know uh, movies a lot. Mm. Not because uh, you know I was interested in acting or anything like that. I loved watching mm. movies. movies. I would go for like go one on Saturday. Scope. Yeah, by scope. Yeah, mm. I would go for one Saturday and watch like about three movies. Oh. You know. Yeah, there was yeah, a season. I would, yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. I would. I would actually time it such that. I, you know, I go in the morning, you know, mm. when I go in the morning, I pay for one movie 
and then sneak into other theaters. Oh, all I see. Throughout the day. I see. There's yeah. the lawyer in you. Yeah. <laughs> all through, all Sneaky. throughout the day. And uh, and when I you know when I was in matric, I had an English teacher, Mrs. Van Furen, you know. Uh. Uh, nice, nice German, uh, uh, you know, uh, woman uh, who actually came up to me one day and said, "Why don't you, you know, pursue the performing arts?" She oh, saw something. Is that? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know, and I said, think about it. Yeah. And then I started to do research, and I'm like, "Oh, you can even study, you know, performing arts at yeah. Varsity. Yeah. And at that time, you know, the idea was to go to Varsity. Yeah. And I said, oh, oh, that's university. Well, there we go. Mm. And that's where you went to pursue mm. your studies in performing yeah. arts. Yeah, but didn't get in. Ask you, see, <laughs> well, it's because I of the, all the it's, it's because of all the ins you gave yourself for free at the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> it's 20 minutes after 7 o'clock in the morning. We're going to go to traffic with Sol. We're coming back to Decode Rapulane, as well as the rest of your voice notes that we are collecting on 063-688-0959. It is 959 Breakfast with Guest Decoded. Decoding Arapulana, hanging out with him, uh, you know, getting to know him a little bit better. You know, it's always good. It's always good to get to know the people that have influenced us over the years. And it's an honor, actually, to spend time with people such as yourself. Thank you very much. And it is true. Uh, because uh, usually people, you know, would come up to me and they would int- introduce themselves. And I would mm. introduce myself back. Mm. And they say, no, we know you, no, no, we know. 100%. You know, but it, you know, you you really do not know me. Yes. You know, there are so yes. many layers yes. of my being that mm. you, you, you have no idea of, you know. A hundred percent. Yeah. True I, I say it with people and uh, and I would tell them, listen, uh, you know, now when I was in varsity, and they were like, you went to varsity? And I said, yeah, I studied, you know, for what I you know what I am doing right now. Mm-hmm. Speaking of studying, did you grow up soft, man? Because you had a Miss Van Mullen in high school, like in the eighties. Van Furen. Oh yeah, <laughs> Mrs. Van Furen. Let me tell you something. Uh, what actually happened was, I, I don't know. You know, like there was uh, this system where, uh, you know, like uh, teachers from, you know, African schools, you know, who I think were regarded as. Rejects, basically. Okay. Wow. We're, we're bust into Soweto and bust into schools like Enka High. I don't mm. know if you know Enka High. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's it's in an Orlando North. Mm. So Enka High and oh. bust there, you, you know, every day to come and teach. I remember, you know, I had a math teacher who couldn't speak English. Hey. You know, every time Matata. it would be like we would have to actually teach the tell, teacher. Teach the teacher or not? It's Theorem of Pythagoras. Oh, way. You know what I mean? Oh, way. Oh, way. Bottom half <laughs> hour, she would 7.30. Be, she would be lost. And there was like, like I can remember there was a, a Kaufman uh, who, who was teaching history. And I would sleep in his class, hey. you know, consistently. I mean, every time he got in, I would put my feet up on, you know, we had those long desks. Mara, why not get of this villain <laughs> characters of yours, so did Lala, we took the lesson at our school. No! What do you? Yeah, 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 Ah, was, yeah. it, was it a play, obviously, yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, it was course, a play. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What so, play was it? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't stress. remember now what play it was, yeah. but yeah, I, it was it was at the market theatre. Did you go on a date yeah. with your brother, your best friend, Kenny? Was it a, was <laughs> it a know, sort of a date you, night you, you with know, your romance you, you know, You know that. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I usually go to, to, to theatre and, uh, you know, uh, a lot. Be a lot, yeah, but yeah. Other live performances, I mean, it would be, you know, people singing. Oh, or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's your favorite artist? Things. 
My, you know, my favorite artist, you know, I, Are they many? You know I'm biased, you know, yeah. I, I'm quite biased, but... Uh, biased too? Yeah. I love Judith Sipu. Ah, there we go. Oh, there we go. She's a good one I to love like. Judith Sipu. She's a good one you to know, like, yeah, yeah, 100%, yeah. And uh, I'm, uh, you know, uh, when people ask me, I'm like, nah, I, I will talk about South African... Of course. Between, you know, you know, of performers, course. you know, you, you know we'll turn these women as well. Of course. I love, man. Wait, yeah. Sipuma, Sipemo, is there something there? No. <laughs> yeah, is that Sipuma, why people you like it? Sipuma, Sipemo, Levanava, Mupeme. Yeah. Mamela. Yes. I hope you know your lyrics. Ne, of songs. Okay. Do you know lyrics of songs? Check out that way. No, 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 lyrics. You know, let me tell you something. Yeah. I grew up at a time when, uh, you know, girls in school are the ones who would write lyrics. In books. Yeah, in books. Mm. And, and I'm mm. like, where do you get the time and how do you, you know, how do you actually uh, really... It means you have to listen to this song over, over and, and over. over. And yeah. it wasn't that yeah. time when, you know, you could uh, look at a sleeve of a CD. L- listen to me talking about a CD. Or, you know, <laughs> and there were lyrics it, inside. Yeah, and yeah. there were lyrics inside. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I remember so, that. So, you, you know, it wasn't that time. It, it was before then. Well, it's about to get tricky for you if you don't know your lyrics yeah. because we play a game called Sing It Back, right? Okay. And because you're here, I mean, you might as well go against Princess from Woodbank who beat Mpo from Sandringham yesterday. So we mm, had a, a yeah. reigning champion, Mpo. She's off the throne, dethroned by Princess from Woodbank, who is our reigning champion on Sing It Back. And it's simple. The yeah. questions are derived from song and the answers are the lyrics yeah, of the song. The song. Okay. So sing it back. I'll explain to you the rules in a bit. <laughs> are you ready to play? I hope No, you are. I am ready. You have to be. Yeah, you absolutely have ready. to be. Still collecting your voice notes for uh, raps on 063-688-0959. You don't mind me calling you raps? No, I don't. Not at I really, all. You know, because that's what you've called me all the all time. All these years. You know, and yeah, I've been comfortable yeah, yeah. with it. Thank uh, you. So, Thank yeah, you so that's much. what it is. I've known you too long. A lot long. Well, yeah, a lot, <laughs> a lot long, long, long if, actually. If, if there was a problem, I would have complained already. 100%. In your crew, do you, do you actually have a nickname? What What do your friends call no. you by? Uh, <laughs> you know what? A, a lot of people call me Nkunzi. I have to be honest. A lot of people. Maria won't be any issue when Nkunzi. La makere chala wa kula. Ah, yes. Good man, you know. People, you know, kona no ba. People are like good man. Why umunda zoksuge like biza Nkunzi? Yeah. Umunda zoksuge like jave savuge ashlagene na westrati na tuwe Nkunzi. Why? Nkunzi, it's a compliment. You're a top dog. Yeah, you're a top dog. Yeah, like Nkunzi, like Nkunzi. Yeah, a bull. A father. You're a bull. Onjate. Yeah, I won't lose. Come on. Come on, everybody, sing along now. I know you know what Karen the Soul, Nana Ata, Zex Vantwini, Imali. It is 13 minutes after 8, 959 breakfast on the street, on the air. Guest decoded, decoding Rapulane, and you have flooded us with your voice notes. Listen to yourself. I actually know Rapulane Sipimo. He was my youth leader. Um, I actually didn't think that he would be an actor. I was very surprised. He was a very serious person who seemed and looked like a lawyer. Yeah, but um, we learned quite a lot from him. Morning, Buffet. Morning, team. The fire represented. The premier Rotman Lakasia Kara Praraps. Zone 9 representing. No. Love your work, Rotmani. Keep it up. Inspiration. Too much it up. One love. Rotmani. Rotmani, the role that you played. Go unseen. Yes, yes. Ah, you nailed it. You nailed it. What question are you talking Hey, when a fool? You know most what I mean. Yeah, so I, good man, I. Still the best. It's such a privilege to be sending this voice note to you. I must say, I feel like it's a gang. I am in a very higher platform right now with you. So what I'd like to know is that you've been in the industry like forever, as long as you've been. What is the one thing that you wish you would have done better as a young artist? So a young uh, Rapulana as an actor, what is it that you feel that he could have done better 
to master his craft, you know, because, I mean, where you are, you're like at the high level. But what is it that you wish you could have done better when you started entering this industry? Nice question. Yeah, no, it's a, yeah. it's a very good question. Very nice question. To be honest. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, I, I wouldn't have done anything different because uh, every role that I approached, that I created, that, you know, uh, uh, came alive, uh, you know, from the scripts, uh, I, I, I did the very best mm. that I could. And not only that, <clears throat> the reason why, you know, I have staying power is the fact that I went to school. I didn't, you know, I, I, I didn't... Rely on uh, talent alone. Yeah, I didn't go and stand on, you know, like the steps to go SABC and say to people, I'm fire, get out. Mm. You know, I, I, I really went straight to school. And I remember my, my grandmother used to tell me, for a in school, Look at your mother. Your mother is waiting for you to to She's bring to bring school. the paycheck home. Mm, okay. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Mm. Because you know, you know, I, I did a degree. I, I went on to do a masters, and I started with a, a, a drama diploma. Mm. You know, mm. so it's all those things, and it build up up mm. until, you know, you know, I I felt or you no, know, I could easily be ready. I think, to be on, you know, on mm. stage and on television. Our, our actions as we grow <clears throat> and the investments that we make in ourselves. Yeah. Exactly. You may not see it immediately, but later in your years, you are only very mature in your craft and in your field. Yeah. So it's only seasoned. That's when the fruits. Yeah. Because it's relationships, yeah. it's discipline, it's networking, it's all of these things. Yeah, that you, you know, build. It's respect you to your craft or towards and for your craft, your colleagues. Yeah. All of that just comes together and it starts and where? And being humble. 100%. And, and learning all the time. 100%, 100%. Mm. Well, I mean, it goes to show there's a very, very popular scene that um, <laughs> we all know. Please take a listen to this. I'm sure you all know this scene. You know this scene, 100%. So what? A house or a lane. Okay. Once, twice, three times, damn it, Dalton. Go to our Instagram right now. Go to Instagram right now at 959 Breakfast underscore. Go and watch Dow bring us the best of Dow in studio live with Garabo Morog. I mean, yes, that Garabo's scene. There. That scene is testament to you, to you and uh, Mamukoni's chemistry, you know? No, Was there any pressure to make it work on the Queen after the success of the two of you guys' chemistry on Generations? No, you know, uh, you know there's something about uh, uh, the connection that uh, Rapuda Nasi Pemo and Connie Ferguson have. Uh. That is quite special. And it was built over, you know, over years uh. when we were working on uh, on generations, uh. you know. Uh. Because, uh, <clears throat> and uh, it is now automatic, wow. you know. It is now it's automatic, the chemistry that we have. Because we understand each other, we respect each other, we know mm. how to, uh, uh, in actual fact, humble ourselves, in, you know, in the same space that, uh, the, the, that we share as, you know, as actors. Um, you know, someone, someone called it, uh, you know, communion. Mm. You know, it's like... Mm. You know, something like that, where it's a give and take. Mm. And with utter, utter spiritual and, you know, you know, spiritual connectivity, basically. Mm. Wi-Fi so, is different. Then. Yeah, Wi-Fi is different. Like, it's mm. No, it's very good. Not really mm. too fair. Like. So tell me, you guys are making headlines now and <clears> you guys are, are really sending tongues wagging in the rumor mills that you guys are back at Generations. Is this true or false? It's true. As cameos? Or as cameos as, for now, as cameos. And it might turn into yeah. something permanent? You know, we're not who knows? Sure. anything knows? is possible. Wow. You know, I keep so we're seeing people, Dao back? Yeah, Karabo we're going back? to no, we're going to see Dao back. We're going to see Karabo back as cameos because Beautiful. and uh, you know I was in a car with uh, 
couple of people yesterday oh. and they were so excited about it because they heard uh, you know that no yeah, you guys are, co are coming back to and you know i really 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 felt uh, you know that you know that pleasure mm. as to the people appreciating your your craft and mm. appreciating your your presence mm. in their dining rooms in their lounges in their personal spaces in their, in their personal spaces mm. and i think uh, it's quite humbling that thing is power you know that power at some level yeah they know of you and to them it feels like they know you because it's that personal yeah because mm. people i mean I, you know I, I come across people on the streets and people will approach me and the, and just say you know what I'm not uh, trying to get a picture or anything. Yes. I just wanted to thank you. Okay. Beautiful. Mm. Okay. 21 minutes after 8, let's go to traffic. We're still decoding uh, Rabulane. Uh, a raps. Yes. Of course, <laughs> of course, of course. Guest decoded 959 Breakfast on the street, on the air. Russell oh. Zuma featuring George Leslie and Coco Essay. I see a bro crush happening here, Saul. Aye, Yakula. Aye, Russell Zuma. I'm going to go on the video. I'm going to you must listen and not be distracted by other things. You must yeah. listen. Wabina, wabina. Yeah. 855. Uh, I'm going to go to the house. Okay. Okay. Mm. Morning, Kaya family. Can you please ask Mr. Rafulana Sipemo or Arab Lelenit? Is he anyhow related to the American actor Omar Epps? Because <laughs> I see some resemblance. Mashoabo, nah, you know, they, they, they somehow look alike. So, and little in the happy. How can two people um, look alike and then also choose the same fields with a uh, level of talent to so I guess he must also make some time you know brother to brother babu but what I can say is he's the best actor and I shall Oma Epps aboni next <laughs> mm. oh that is so mm. funny no I'm not related <laughs> I'm not related to Omar Epps I really love I, I mean he's acting I think he's he's highly talented and uh, but uh, no I'm not related to <laughs> not at all. Really. I mean, I, I, I don't see it. It's the yeah. resemblance. No, I, don't I don't see, see it. it. You know, I don't see well, it. Well, the talent is there. The talent Definitely. is there. No, I mean, you know, uh, people people actually thought Horonali Robi Maling. We were brothers and in that oh. i can believe i can tell yes, from that you know what yes. well, you know why because mm. now uh, uh Robin Malina from zone nine mm. you know middle lands zone, middle nine. Lens, yeah, yeah. Middle zone nine and kobo uh, it was like about a hundred meters away imagine yeah so never mind top of the hour we're nearly at top of the hour Alrighty, thank you so much for allowing us to decode you. Uh, Rabulane, guest decoded on Thursday. Round of applause. Thank you. 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 Thank L I X Netflix for Unseen. Unseen. Yes. Yes. Watching yes. Unseen. We're binging. Indeed. Six part series. Yeah? Six part series, 100%. Mm. So live light, laugh long, love the ones you're with, serve those that you love with the greatest humility. And don't forget, at your best, try your best to be your best. Uncle Raps, it's a thank, wrap. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. You know what? I'm going to take my day with. Humility. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, Beautiful. Legend. Beautiful. Have a good one.